Uh, keep our fan players TV home, mate. Got Dave Evans with me, mate. How you doing? Hello, uh, mate. How you alright? You good? Yeah. Nice weather. Oh, check it out, mate. Nice weather, mate. Nice weather. Yeah, yeah. Um, look, look lovely. Quickly, quickly. Right, um, <laughs> the team playing out from the back. What do you think of that, mate? How do, how do you think we're doing this season compared to the last couple of seasons? Perfect. Manager's perfect. The way we play, perfect. I just don't agree with one up front. We need okay, two mate. up front with easy at the back. Behind it. Yeah, okay, mate. Right. And, and from school run for today, what do you reckon? Deep down, I, I actually think Hart will say 2 1. Hart will say 2 1, but I actually think it'll be a draw. I okay, think we're in for a shot result. Yeah, I mean, even though they've got so many players, that, that you can't underestimate them, can you? No. no. Obviously, we want to win. We need to win, really. It'd be nice if we could win. The problem is they got, they got nine players missing. Allegedly, allegedly, yeah. Allegedly, yeah. They got nine players missing. But every it's person, hard to beat. but every every person that's going to play in that team knows they got to try and get a exactly. spot in exactly. that team. Exactly. Exactly. So they're going to play hard, and we our, we've only had one win in five or eight seven. Yeah, well, yeah. Last two minutes down there, they've actually beaten us. And we've conceded eleven goals in the last five games. So I I predict they will score. Yeah. I think two one or three one. Okay, mate. Okay, no worries, mate. DJ Ranger, Dave Evans, before the QPR I'm in for a game, come on, you watch. Okay, we've got James Cox with me. How you doing, mate? All good, all good. What are you doing in today's game, mate? I'm still going to go 4-0. 4-0? Yeah. Okay, mate. Why so high? We deserve it, and we need a clean sheet. We've got a clean sheet. And we have got the goals in us. And look at the line-up. I'm doing a lot now, I'm midfield looking good. Okay, mate. Um, just think about the season soon. I mean, I know I asked you to think back about how you thought so on the team and overall team defence, actually. But playing that from the back, I've got a great position already this season, but how are you feeling the team playing that from the back? Yes, we haven't got to see you in every game. Yeah, we haven't got to see you. But you actually scored some goals. And yeah, and yeah, and yeah, you can see it. Not sloppy, though, it's getting caught. Yeah. If I play from the back, yeah, I think it's brilliant. It's brilliant football, just sit here. Come on, let's not find the McLaren in the other way. Yeah, 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 we're great. Play some good football. And we're going to have a better game. 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 And we're going
Uh, keep my phone close to me. Got Mason Parker with me. Just interview these dads. Uh, Mason ain't doing me. Yeah, Mad weather. Um, I know I asked you before, mate, about how the season is going like, for this season. Um, but what do you think of how we're playing up from the back? Do you like it or are you against it? A bit risky. But when it works, it looks really good. But yeah, of course, yeah. But a lot of teams are doing it this season, to be fair. I mean, for the amount of games we've gone to, make you look at people on the TV, most teams are playing it. It's where they make more mistakes than say we do. We only look at us because that's our team we play. You know, we're playing for goals. So, but, but overall, compared to today under McCarran and Holloway, are you preferring this football? Yeah, 100%. 100%. Yeah? Yeah. Um, what do you think on today's game, mate? 3-2. 3-2. 3-2. Okay, that's it. Mason Parker, DJ Ranger, in the Energy Road, heading towards the wide block. Keep our phone, the players see you over the way. Where In the pissing room. Come on, you guys. Keep going for the players TV. Got Tony Carrari, mate. How you doing? Yeah, I'm doing well, mate. Nice weather. Oh, brilliant. So you got brilliant. wet, a bit wet and all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice walk down from the pub and all that. Have yeah, a few yeah. sherbet. Yeah, yeah. Only a couple. Only a couple. What's today's game, mate? What's the score? Well, my prediction is three nil. Three nil. Give me up. Obviously, give me up. Okay, mate. Three nil. Four dollars. Yeah, yeah. And how do you think you're playing out from the back? What's your intent this season so far? I think mean, we got it today because it's because they're because they're fucked. They got they got about nine injuries. These yeah, lot, so. still beat us though. Nah, well, yeah, yeah, QBR break records on there. You know what I mean? So you're going 3 0? I'm going 3 0. Good man, good man. Good man, yeah. Tony Cartwright, DJ Rainer, QBR fans and players TV, hoping the way. That's it. Thank you. Record scoreline. 3 1 from Darren. What's going on? Jamie Nottage. I'm going for 4 1, hopefully. 4 1 to who? Oh, Rangers. Lucky Jamie, eh? Eight. Be nice. Okay, some big scorelines for QPR fans today. Me, QPR from Northborough. Here at Loftus Road, Kyle and Prince Foundation. Come on, you all!
Oscar Lynch, Evelyn Lindsay, Robert McLaren Moore, John McCloy, David Murphy, John Pemister, Albert Bosch, Harry Thornton, John Hofford, <coughs> Martin Wilson, and Richard Williams. Those individuals who we would never have met sacrificed themselves for us, and all we would ask is that we think, feel, and act as if they were that person we drove in front of a bus. They shall not grow old as we and the left grow old. Age shall not weary them, nor the years condemn. At the going down of the sun and in the morning, we will remember them.
Now keep going find the players TV home the way on route back from the game. And um, finish up QPR 2, Borough 2. Um, Hello, welcome to Game Day exclusive with me, Laura Woods. say about the game? Um, it's quite lively. Plenty of goals as always with watching QPR play. Um, you know, obviously, considering in the media there's been mention of them having players out, X and Y amount of players, but we had some players out too, so we had players playing in position which maybe are not supposed to be playing in, but obviously, you know, you can adapt to it as their pro footballers. So, you know, Middlesbrough may have had players out, but had a good team out there today. If they did, <laughs> you know, it's, um, they played well. I'm seeing they're meant to be third from, well, they are third from bottom still after that draw today. Um, I think I was quite surprised in their play. Um, but, you know, it, there was sloppy play from both sides. Goals were, like, both teams gave goals away stupidly. I mean, you know, that's why there was goals. That's why, you know, obviously Middlebury in the position they're in. And luckily for us, where we've actually won some games, otherwise we'd be down there as well, I think. Um, but luckily for us, we've managed to win games. We've scored, over, like, scored more goals than other teams. I thought Todd Kane today played quite well. Always there for an outlet. Um, you know, I suppose two always a fair result considering, you know, can't underestimate any side in this division, even teams out at the bottom. Yes, they're there for a reason. That's my thoughts on views on the game. The co pilot, the driver, the main man himself, the noisy one, Mr. Neil Aaron. What do you reckon, sir? That game? Um, I thought it was a good game to watch. There's mistakes, there's attacking football. Goals. There's risky football, there's goals. What more do you want out of a game of football? I mean, we're not perfect. We probably never won't, we won't be all season. But at least it's good to watch. Come on and like stop the moaning about compared to the last this, couple of seasons, I mean we can't it's been do this and we can't do that. We're trying to play some football. Yeah, we we're creating some fucking like chances through that football. Yes, there's mistakes a little bit. I'm enjoying it. Fair result, I think. Barrow are probably better than I thought they would be. Yeah, yeah considering, yeah, you, you, you know, position in the league, probably, I don't know how they've been playing in past games, but the results have been going their way. Um, I certainly played both, decent yeah, today. Played well. Both teams could have probably won it. You know, both teams could have easily lost it for yeah. themselves as well. You know? Yeah, so, yeah. Probably fair result on the full week off. Yeah, week off. We're still here. In the rain. And we welcome Barry Orr to tell us all about the Betfred Exchange. Hello, That's it from myself, no DJ Ranger, Neil Aaron. Reminder, I'm Ruth back, back, back from the Cuba Borough game at the Kyra Prince Foundation Stadium. We have another point in the bag. One more point towards safety. Let's not rule that out, you know. Let's get one more point towards the top six. Yeah, exactly. DJ Ranger, Neil Aaron, for Cuba Fans of the Players TV, home and away, round of it. Come on, you are. Yes!